there are many comparison operators in JavaScript that will return a Boolean of true or false. The most common is the equality operator, and it's often used in an if statement. So here it just says if val. So we have this whole if statement right here, if val. We're going to see if if val equals 12. Now to check if it equals 12, we're going to have to use the double equal sign. That is the equality operator, and we'll say if val equals 12. The reason why we can't just use a single equal sign is that a single equal sign is the assignment operator. If we just had a single equal sign, that would mean that we were setting the, val the value of the val variable to equal 12. We're not trying to set this to equal 12. We're trying to check if the value of this variable equals 12. So we have to use the double equal sign. So now this test equal function is going to test to see if the number we pass in is equal to 12. I can do a console.log here, console.log, and then we can see what appears in the console here, not equal because 10 does not equal 12. We learned about the equality operator, which is the double equal sign. There's also the strict equality operator, the triple equal sign. So here we're checking if three equals three with the strict equality operator. So the difference is that the equality operator, the double equal sign, attempts to convert both values being compared to a common type, while the strict equality operator does not do the type conversion. So this is going to evaluate to true, the three equals 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 three. But the three equals 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 three with the string on this side is going to evaluate to false. Both of these would be true if we were using the double equal sign because the string would be converted to a number and they would be equal to true. But with the triple equal sign, it does not get converted to, to a number, so it would be evaluated to false, the second one, with the three equal signs. So here, we're just going to use it right in this if statement and do equals, equals, equals seven. So now we can pass in the number seven and it's going to evaluate to true. But if we pass in a string seven, it will evaluate to false. We will do one more review with the equality operator and the strict equality operator. So if I run this here, we'll see in the, the console it says equal because it's checking if the number 10 and the string 10 are equal. So if A equals B, the number 10 equals a strict number 10, return equal. Since we're using the equality operator with, with two equal signs, it performs a type conversion, and it converts the string into a number. But if we use the strict equality operator with three equal signs, I'll run that again, and you'll see not equal in the console, because now it's not converting the types and it's just checking if a number is equal to a string, which is not, so we get not equal. Now I will show you the inequality operator, which is basically the opposite of the equality operator. So I'm going to do the inequality operator with an exclamation point and an equal sign, 
In this case, I'm going to see if the value is not equal to 99. And again, just like the equality operator, this does type conversion. So let's just run this program and we'll see it is not equal because 10, we passed in 10 into the function here and 10 is not equal to 99. So we get not equal. The strict inequality operator is basically the opposite of the strict equality operator. And it works like this. So it says if val, I'm going to do if val does not equal 17. So this is the strict inequality operator. Instead of one equal sign, we have two equal signs. And that means it's going to check if this is not true but it's not going to convert types. So for instance, if we were checking if the number three does not equal the string three, that would be true. So in this example, we're just checking if 10 does not equal 17. If we run this, we will see it's not equal.